Well, I am at Pam's Plants and Produce down at the farmer market area, farmer's market area here in Oklahoma City near downtown. And today I'm specifically looking for mostly annuals and some perennials to put in the window box. And I, I'm, I really need some tough stuff. So here's what's on my list. I'm gonna look for uh, Joseph's Coat. I'm gonna look for Diamond Frost Euphorbia. Uh, pentas, if I can find some, it's a little bit early. Lantana, uh, and then basically, I'm not gonna do, I'll be looking for succulents, but I'm, I, but I'm not sure what kind of luck I'll have in that regard. The, typically, this area doesn't have a lot of succulents. Um, and then just anything, other, in, other interesting things that I might be able to find, um, a little bit different than my shopping expeditions from previous years, because this year I've got to really make sure that my resources are just towards things that I need to really fill out the space, not all the additional type of container plantings and things that I've done in past years. So let's look and see what they've got. Let's do it. So I see a couple of hanging baskets of this beautiful scaviola. And I only see two of them. So I am, oh, there's another one. So I'm gonna make sure I get these. Here, I'll meet you over there and show us what you got. And tell us about it. What'd you get? This is beautiful hanging purple scaviola. It really can handle the heat. And I think this will look brilliant in the window box. I'm gonna look and see if they've got any more of it. Shopping with Linda. I got a third one. Three is a good number. One thing I really miss about my old garden, if you watched for any length of time, you know how much I enjoyed shopping my own garden. Well, now I don't have a garden to shop from. <laughs> so I'm having to buy more things than I would otherwise because I can't, I can't uh, steal from Peter to pay Paul. Nope. Okay, I see some penta here. And why I like to shop at, at the farmer's market is because one thing I have noticed is that plants that don't, that really like the hot summer sun and hot summer conditions typically don't arrive at other places like big box stores until later in the season. Here, they've already got them. And what is this again? And this is penta and it looks like it's lavender penta. And, oh, and it looks like a lantana snuck in there. Let's see what color this lantana is. Uh, not my color. Not my color, but it looks like all of this is. So I'm gonna get a flat, and I'm not sure if this will be for the window box or this will be just for the butterfly garden area, but it's that pretty lavender in keeping with my color theme for this summer. In the past, I have done what I consider to be kind of transitional annuals, like lobelia and alyssum, in some cases, even regular petunias. But this year, because it's so prematurely hot and dry, I'm skipping that season altogether and I'm gonna go straight to the tough stuff. Now, I don't see any here, but you guys know how I really like to mix in my edibles. So I might start it from seed, but I'm, I'm thinking in my window box and probably in the garden beds too, I'm gonna want some purple Thai basil. 
which I think will be beautiful. And again, the pollinators will love it. Ooh, and wonderful. This is one of the things that I was looking for, is this Golden Joseph's coat. It can really handle the heat. I'll show you in the garden in the front beds where I had some overwintering in a pot. It can be hard to find, so I'm thrilled that they've got it. I don't think I need a whole flat. Um, why well, do I have a feeling you're going to get it anyway? <laughs> okay, maybe I will. <laughs> Let me just think through that now. That's exactly what it felt like. It, 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 that's exactly what she thought. Now, yeah. I may not take the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. So, one thing you will notice that, and, and it's something to also be cognizant of if you're having someone install your landscape for you and they are doing the resourcing, um, the sourcing, that is that plants are far more expensive than they used to be for a couple of different reasons. One, just, you know, in, environmental, but also because the cost of everything to produce them is higher. And also, at least in our area, because so many nurseries that used to grow annuals and things like that aren't growing them anymore because they're growing pot. Times are changing. Okay, so here's what I think I'm going to do. Put this under here. And I think I'm going to split a, fat, a flat. I think I'm going to do half a flat of the Joseph's coat and then maybe some Dusty Miller because I think the Dusty Miller will be good in the window box particularly because I think I'm going to put my pineapple guava in the window box. Dusty Miller. I love that. Sounds like a girl I used to know or something. <laughs> Dust, <laughs> Dusty, Dusty Miller. Yeah, or a country western yeah. song. <laughs> Keep an eye on my car for me, Stuart. Well, Sorry, I, I'll, I'll move that in just a second. This is actually one time I can't do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my eyes are occupied. Okay, so that'll give me half a flat of this. The silly question is a, is a flat a standard so, like size? Uh, yes, yes. This is considered a flat and often there's a price break when you buy a whole flat. Sometimes there is, sometimes there's not. It kind of just depends on where you're shopping. Now this is one case where I'm going to be a little more particular about the ones that I take because I want some of them already to be tall and kind of pendulous so that they will cascade over the side. Give them a look at what you're picking. Yeah, can you see? Yeah. Mm. Pretty, pretty. And this stuff is tough and sometimes it will overwinter. And if it does... Point out one you wouldn't pick and then one you would pick. Well, and tell this, us the one, this one just looks a little tinier. And normally I go for tiny, but sometimes when I want it to cascade over the side, then I'll go a little bit larger. That's a neat thought. It has to do with your plans for it. Yes. Yeah. So they're technically all healthy plants. They're technically all healthy plants. And the and small a, ones might even grow up to be bigger. Oh, absolutely. They Hopefully they will grow up to be bigger. Um, that is why we plant them after yes, all. But the other thing is I can always pinch these. So. Gonna need a bigger cart, Stuart. I had a feeling. Okay, let's see. I still haven't seen many perennials. I need to write a Shopping with Linda song. <laughs> yes, you do. You do. Now, I really show like some, some white. What you looking at? I'm just going to show them the pretty flowers. The pretty flowers? Yeah. I'd like for those 
to put some of those white petunias in there, but I just don't think they'll be able to tolerate the heat later down the line. What I would really like is some diamond frost euphorbia. Oh look, here's the angel wing begonias, but I already have some of those. We got those. Now this is an interesting color of angelonia. And you know, I love angelonia and it likes the heat, but it also requires more deadheading than I like. And so even though it's great, I might, I don't know, I'm going to have to think about that. What I'd really like to find is some diamond frost euphorbia, but I have a feeling I may not be able to. I really enjoy plant names. Plant names? Yeah, they're fun. Yeah, they are fun. Especially if you work for Southern Living, because they have all Southern referenced names, and that's yeah, fun. I think that'd be a fun job. For those who couldn't make it oh. to a farmer's market today. Love those geraniums, get... but look here. I found some white pintas, which makes me happy. So I think I'll finish filling out my flat. get a few more of those. You did buy a Paul Summerbird right there. They were cool. Aren't they great? The pollinate yeah, have you seen have you seen how many Sphinx moths there yeah Sphinx moths. I've had a ton of them this yeah, year. Oh where are they? Oh right here. Oh right there, yeah. Watch it watch your toes go in and out. Yeah, I've had tons of them this year. They're yeah. great. Yeah. They, are. Like they are beautiful. Wow. Linda, I'm preoccupied for a minute over here. I know. Aren't those fabulous? Well, they're just beautiful. I know. They're incredible. I remember I, I had those at, at the other house. And what a display we're I getting know. right they're now. They're incredible. We're just getting full Look. looks at them, which is crazy. I know. All right, I had to say something and they fly away. But right. I, yes, yes. That was cool. Okay, now my next. Really they're, cool. They're incredible. Yeah. Okay, let's see. For those that might be curious, there's downtown Oklahoma City. Yes, there's downtown, and there's the Devon Tower, oh, Stuart. Oh, it's blocked. Hold on. Can we get well, around the tree? Well, can we get a little bit? There we go. They can see it now. Because that's the Devon Tower I can see from my office window. I know. If you just could throw a rock yes. right at the middle of the screen. So if you if you went you to the Devon Tower and you took a left. Yeah, it's like that way. <laughs> that's kind of, that's you'd end up at, at, at my office. Okay. Not too far. So I am. Yellow has just been so superb in my garden this year, and it really showed up. And if I get this in before it gets tremendously hot, hopefully it'll have a chance to get established. And what is it again? Sorry, I this missed. This is, yes, this is yellow lantana. Ooh. Also loved, loved by pollinators. And I'll probably, I'm getting this for the window box now and probably for some of the other container plantings. Again, this is a huge window box and this is the first year, so I'm having to get all new stuff for it. So um, unhappily, this is gonna be a little bit more expensive trip than I ever take for annuals. Oh, look here, Stuart. 
Lavender. Lavender topiaries. These are $29.99. And this is maybe the first spring. I haven't had them in a while. And I normally would be right on this, but I've got too many other things I have to take care of <laughs> right couple. now. So this is gonna have to be a next year item. Just a few things. It's not like you're building a amazing garden or anything. Look at those pretty flowers. All right, y'all, we've left Linda to look at these. Pretty, pretty stuff, huh? Yes, it is. Nature is nice. Oh, all right, we're gonna do this now. So I'm sure some of you are thinking that moss rose would also be good, uh, but I kind of run hot and cold on moss rose. So I, I'm not gonna go with it this year. For some reason, it's just not striking my fans. Purple heart. Okay. I, I, I have, I'm going to unload some of this stuff here. So I, that sounds like a deal. That sounds, <laughs> hey, I hear ya. Here you go, man. Thank you, sir. Right, we got a clematis here. We got a pomegranate here. Okay. Popping wheelies over there. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Very pretty. Yes. Very pretty. And not just all purple. And then I have uh, some grass there. I have a uh, milkweed, butterfly bush, lamb deer. Okay. And uh, that other stuff is called. Uh, it's like Indian blanket and flowers like that. Oh, Gaylardia. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's not Gaylardia. Yeah, the Indian blanket. Yeah. Yeah. Don't really know what it's called. Uh, okay. Uh, this is a uh, lamb deer here. And uh, here's some more dianthuses over there. That's milkweed. And then this is nice here. This is what we grow. It looks like I only got one of these. Yeah, this, that is a uh, Salvia Ferencia. Yes. And it's it's also got a beautiful color to it. What is this here? That is a butterfly bush, and it's oh, that's we forgot yeah. to get uh, water yeah. yesterday. Okay, well, and I think milkweed, and then the milkweed, and then that purple salvia. No. Okay, okay. I got one of them left. Got a bunch of it at the greenhouse in Augusta. We got to get them out here. Now. Okay, Thank I you, appreciate sir. it. Thank you. This is not, this is not my color palette, Stuart, but really I've got to have some for the pollinators. Now what is it think? you've decided on over This here. is milkweed. Okay. Now I know that that is a big butterfly attractor. Yes. And specifically monarchs, correct? And I, I, I think probably <laughs> monarchs and anything that likes to be attracted to that but yes it's a good it's a good one now here is some more lantana and you know what kind of like that color maybe a little bit more have you ever seen the, the migration other color. of the monarch butterfly? i have not and i i know it's, it's i'm sure phenomenal. it's spectacular Stuart, here's where i'm gonna you know, I always reserve the right to change my mind. And I think this looks like it might be a subtle different variety. Yes, this one, red dirt plants. This one has a tinge Here, of white let's, to let's it. Let's show them that tag. Yes, you got, okay. You turn it kind of where they can. I don't know if I can I see it. that, yeah. But, but <laughs> it's got a, a little hint of, of white to it. And I think I'm gonna switch this out for the other one. $3.99, man, I'm sorry. That, that's okay, but I am going to switch out this color for the other color that's up in that basket. Thank you.
You gotta pop wheelies again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have catch to. your next wheelie. I am gonna have to. Look at these gorgeous geraniums. Oh my word. Look at that sea of white over there. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yep. Okay, now we do have, I know a lot of you followers wanted me to plant some bubblegum petunias and um, that's not my color palette. But look at these purple ones, my word. Now these, I, I am feeling, I'm not sure about this. <laughs> they're kind of pricey, they're $9.99 a gallon. Not that they're not worth it. I have no reference for pr plant of, prices. Of what plants cost, well. So I would, have, I would just pay it because I have no believe idea. Believe me, our followers <laughs> out there. I know they, they do. Know. <laughs> they know. These just all want to be together, don't they? And sounds like a dad joke waiting to happen. A, a dad joke waiting to get it. Well, that yes. means they're all one, and they only they're cost. All, they, and, I know they're uh, a family. That's, that's the dad joke. Okay. My daughter's uh, not here. I think I'm going to pass on those. I probably just disappointed a bunch of. Oh. You. Just probably disappointed a bunch of. But again, don't and forget, she reserves the right to change her mind. Yeah, this is true. Now, here's a, t <laughs> here's a tip. No matter how much stuff you get for a container planting, you typically always need more than you think. But this year, because I have to get so much stuff, it, I may just have to let it take some time to fill in. Time is a pretty important part of this garden. Oh boy, look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? This ivy geranium. Oh my word, that is a beautiful thing. And I need it like a hole in the head. <laughs> so I'm gonna pass on that. Now this is so sweet. My husband said that, that what he really missed this year wasn't the tulips this spring, but he missed the cabbages out front. And it's a little bit late for me to plant those, but definitely I need to remember that next year. Okay, Stuart, at this point, how about we speed this thing up and see what I can find. here we're about to finish the window box just a couple of details remain we're installing the trim on the back side and there'll be a piece on the front side uh -huh. okay so that will just give it a more finished appearance right. and this is rough cedar and like I said I don't mind some of you have said well why not sand it down why not because I kind of like those blemishes that's right. that's fine with me typically also by the time it's filled there'll be so much plant material cascading <laughs> over the side, it won't make any difference one way or another. Now, a lot of you asked if I was gonna have drip irrigation in this, and, and in my larger pots that are more permanently placed, like some of these evergreen pots, then yes, I do have drip irrigation in here. Fernando put that in for us. <laughs> yeah, Fernando, <laughs> Fernando put that in for us. Cool. Now, in, in my other house, I did not have drip irrigation. And this is, it, it's part art and science, right? Correct. About About calibrating the timing and things. Yeah. So, you can't just set a sprinkler timer, walk off and leave it, and expect it to be perfect, right? Right. I mean, 
we're middle of April and we're mid 80s today. Mm -hmm. That is summertime watering. Yes. In, in all intents and purposes. Yeah. But this weekend, our temps are going to be cool again. Uh, as in, if you've got tender plants out, you're going to have to cover yep. them this weekend or else they're going to die yeah. possibly overnight. Yeah. Um, so even though you have a sprinkler system, you, you have to make adjustments daily. Um, one thing with this drip irrigation is you can turn it off right at the head. That's wonderful. So, in a pot like this, you may not need to add any water, but because it's tied in to maybe drip irrigation on the ground that does need water, this little head can be turned off right at the head. That is so or handy. It can, be, it can be just adjusted to make it lower. Yeah. Heat of the summer, you can open it up and make it put out more water. Yeah, that's that's brilliant. And And talk a little bit about what we were just discussing about this April. The fact that we're so dry. Yeah, I mean, the, the saying in Oklahoma is, you know, April showers bring May, May flowers. flowers. We didn't get any rain in April no. to, to, to say, I mean. Yeah, it's the driest April we've had since 1936 during the Dust Bowl. Yeah. Now, April ain't over yet, so there That's we remain right. optimistic, and it does look like the temperatures are going to cool down. They're going to cool a little. Which, thankfully, um, which is a, a good thing because not only do the ambient air temperatures stress the plants out, but then the, the soil temps. temperatures. The, the soil temperatures yes. are, are astronomical right now. Um, excuse me. So, so that's why we want to make sure these plants get established. And poor Kayla is such a trooper. She has ter terrible allergies. And I was fussing at her that she didn't get your allergy shot on time. That's so I, right. I have to mother everyone. I have to mother Kayla. I have to mother Stuart. <laughs> just to make sure it's a lot. It's a lot for me to have to take care of. Just reminding everyone. But right. she has terrible seasonal allergies and she is a real trooper to be able to do this. So I think Kayla's been some time taking care of you too. Oh, well, I think I, 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 th I think may, that, maybe I, a little. I, I think it, that, it goes it goes both ways. I think that's what friends do for one another. That's right. So this weekend, um, this weekend I'm going to be planting the window box. So we'll be doing that on the Sunday show. Right now, I am filling it with just all sorts of garden debris. Uh, the guys are yeah are going to be lifting up. There's a couple of representative dead plants in there. Uh, but nevertheless, we're putting it to good use, aren't we? We're putting yeah. we're putting the dead plants to good use to go on and, and- And it'll compost. You know, most people don't understand that. It'll compost in place. Yeah. The other thing that's brilliant about that, because we talked about putting gravel for drainage and then we thought, no, some of you may have mentioned it too. We really didn't need necessarily to do that because I have, I have enough composting material that we can put in there. And the nice thing about it is, some of these plantings will be in here, God willing, for years. Yeah. And to be able to amend the soil later, I'm going to need some clearance at the top. Right. So as the stuff on the bottom rots and breaks down, that will give me the needed clearance on top to top dress the yeah. window box itself. Right. And then one last thing. A lot of you expressed concern over the fact that, oh my goodness, won't this metal liner really heat things up and make it an even hotter environment? No. 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 Explain why. Well, the num number one is because it's going to be under shade. Mm -hmm. You know, by the time the planting comes in here, it's going to be under shade. It's going to be under shade because of the trim, because of the plantings. So the sun, in theory, will never hit it. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, and just the soil itself. And Right. Right, so uh, so there's really not, it was, it's a good point. I'm glad you guys brought that up. Now, obviously, if I just had nothing but a metal right. window box, yeah. definitely. Now we're going to heat up. Then we're going to heat up, yeah. um, just like any metal strip would heat up in the summer. But because this is encased, mm -hmm. uh, its enclosure will keep it from heating right. up and being prohibitively hot right. for whatever yeah. we plant in here. So are you are you as excited? as I am about getting this planted and seeing what's going to go in there. I almost want to be here when you do it. <laughs> I want to 
want to be <laughs> sitting in a chair right there with a cold glass <laughs> of iced tea in my hand watching it happen. Because she wants to watch me work. <laughs> I've been watching all of her guys work, and now she wants to watch me work. Well, because... here, here's the deal. Linda does such beautiful pots. And we had a customer uh, back when I was still just a baby in this business that she took me to their house and taught me how to do pots. Pots are now my passion because of that, oh. right? So when, when I see her bring stuff in and just set it out here on the sidewalk, oh. I, I just want to sit in the chair and I want to see it all go in Yeah, because I know what the end result's going to be. It's oh, going to yeah. be beautiful. Well, at um, least we know it will be beautiful for a while. <laughs> Right? right it'll be beautiful for a while at least until the heat hits and then even if it if it kind of decides to go south hopefully then fall temperatures will cool off again that's all we can do is hope for the best and darling you always bring your best oh well thank you miss linda we appreciate it and so we'll be... if you see me drive by Sunday, you'll know I'm <laughs> still it out. So, so watch, and if not, if nothing else, you can watch it on the Sunday show. That's right. Because we're going to be planting it up then. Take care.